about to move to a new spot over here. Kevin's running the last few trees up. I got a little time before truck gets back here. I'll get over here where the sun's in my back. So he's working this strip back up to that little fork right there. The trees were hissing when they were coming down to the ground right there in the air. <laughs> and them trees hit the ground hard, I'm talking about. Love that. And just think, when I hit 100,000 subscribers, somebody's gonna be lucky enough to come here and stand right here with me and watch this right here. Hang out with me the whole weekend. The crew. Get to see you meet everybody. And we're rolling on along. I'll tell you, we're getting, we're getting there. You will have to be a subscriber to win that also. Just plain and simple. This is going to be good. The chips are going to fly across the road. Watch this. Ah! Finna send me running too is what he's fixing to do. I got one. You hear that disc? He, he barely made it through that other one with the disc on it. You see that disc is coming back up to speed. It's sitting there running. It was only about 25% when he cut that tree. Here it is coming on up. It's about full speed. All right, she's wide open now. Sticker pegging out stuff, boys. <laughs> Tell me them chips ain't big that come out of that thing right there. cab 
you know, camera in the cab with Derek in there. I can do that and I will do that. The only problem with the end cab stuff is you can't see as well. This, this view that I'm giving right here is actually the best view and for the sound too because you can't you can't the cabs are are quieting down pretty good on these machines so you can't hear as well like the machine and stuff like that like you can standing outside of it like i am right here dead That big one right there behind him, he'll probably go past it and turn back around and hit it. That one's going to sling some chips out of it now. That's a good tree. to get it now. I get asked, you know, about, you know, the a, a saw hand, you know, cutting trees down with a chainsaw compared to that thing. I mean, there's, you sit here and count what he's cut since I've been filming. There's no way that a man with a saw could even remotely come close to what that thing would do right there. Or even a rubber tire cutter. See, like that tree had all those vines down there at the base of it, and those saplings and all. It just, you'd have to cut all that stuff out of your way with a, you know, with a chainsaw, get it out of the way before you could ever even start cutting on the tree. See, he'll drive on top of that. He just lay down in front of him right there. See, there's Kevin right there. He's tracking over here now. That was a good one. Man, he's about the best trees on the place right here, this little corner right here. So Kevin will move up that fort and go right up there and set up and go right to running. Chad to go to Dragon Tomb, and then uh, I'll finish loading this pile, and then I'll come over there where Kevin is, and once I get that pile finished up where I'm sitting right there. That's where the track cutter eats the rubber tire cutter's lunch because he's cutting them. He's going that away, but he's putting all the trees back there behind him and beside him. And so you would have to you would have to back up and turn around to be able to do that with a rubber tire machine. So he just keeps proceeding that away, and he don't have anything in his way up here.
freaking vines, man. And so he's got a camera right there beside to the right of Tiger Cat. The T right there, you see that little hole, that little triangle right there? There's a camera right there so he can see behind him. And then he's also got a camera in there in the cab that's looking up so he can see the he can see up above him if he wants to. Boy, he had to reach for that one. Oh, don't do that. Come on, man. About to send me running over here. See that tracks never move. You just cut that, spin all the way around the other tree over there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That was a good one. this point this film has been running for 13 minutes and he was way up there and has already done come all the way down through here and cut this and up there on the hill in 15 minutes or no 13 minutes my bad i said 13 and i turned around and said 15. I tell you something else too, these trees right like these right here, they're a nightmare to cut with a chainsaw too. Oh my god. They just <laughs> they don't have the weight to them that they that they need. And then the, also the the way they grow, they're just real they're real funky to cut with a chainsaw. I mean they just you cut them and you you can leave a hinge the size of a gnat's hair and a tree still don't want to fall. All of them got dead tops in them right there. Every one of them. I'm going to back up a little bit because these next two are dead. Let's see here. See Kevin's over there where he's at. That's dead. Seen so snap it. That next one's dead too, and the one to the right over there also. 
Dead, dead, dead. Come on. There we go. Got all the needles coming away. You can't see it because it wouldn't tilt up. And 30 horsepower weighs around 82,000 pounds. a uh, FPT engine in it and I think that one has six pumps on it He's got a pine, a real ratty hardwood that I hope he don't put in a pile. He just, I hope he just cuts it and throws it on the ground. I hope. Yes. Don't put that in a pile. There you go. Because that don't do that but make Kevin mad and it'll make me mad. <laughs> Load it then. Get the cedar out of the way. I can't stand a cedar tree. Ah, we like to cut that in too low. You got that in there on the swell on that one. All right, let's see what the counter's at right now. 18 minutes from there all the way up to here is all it took to cut all of them down. Done.